Hey everybody, thank you for joining today's webinar. Today's topic is understanding your performance with ranking metrics and win-loss posts in your marketplace feed. So my name is Rachel Phillips. I'm a global product marketing specialist here at HomeAway focusing on the marketplace feed. And with me I have Matt Gamboa, a senior product manager in charge primarily of the dashboard and the marketplace feed, um, as well as Brendan Nancy, a global product marketing manager focusing on ranking metrics. So our agenda for today, um, is to focus on helping you enhance your performance as well as removing the guesswork from what it takes to be successful. So to do this, we've introduced new tools to help you win in our new marketplace, and we'll be diving into how you can use each of these tools. Um, so the three tools we'll talk about today are HomeAway's new ranking system, the marketplace feed, um, win-loss posts within the feed, and how you can use your ranking metrics um, to understand the ranking system. And then we'll finish by going over how you can use these tools as part of your overall strategy by incorporating them into your success checklist. So HomeAway's new ranking system, um, we know that there have been a lot of changes recently, but everything that we do is focused on providing a great traveler experience with you, our partners. So every change that we've made reinforces this mission, including the new ranking system. And as you know, HomeAway has transitioned into a marketplace and marketplaces are really founded on trust. So trust requires balance on both sides of the equation, and this means creating the best possible environment for both you, our partners, and travelers in the marketplace. So we need to show travelers the properties that they want to see, and they'll provide the great experience. And we need to surface your properties to those travelers who are um, suited to what your property offers. So that's really where ranking comes in. And ranking is not only about the right physical property, but also about providing the best experience from booking to checkout. So our partners who provide the best experiences will be rewarded with higher rank, and we needed to align our new ranking system to do that. So higher rank means that you'll be surfaced to more travelers and attract more potential guests. And so we're constantly asked by you how you can influence your market rank. And we've heard that um, a lot of the times it sort of feels like ranking can be a black box. So we wanted to make sure that the components of the new ranking system were very clear um, to you when rolling out our new ranking system. So if we break these down into two components, um, the components that make up your market rank are your property and the quality of experience you provide. So for your property, um, this includes things like the overall attractiveness of your property, um, amenities, location, reviews, and things like that. And of course, some amenities you can't easily change, um, which is why you want to learn which amenities are most attractive to travelers so that you can highlight them by having great photos and listing content around those amenities and unique features of your property. So if you're finding um, certain amenities that travelers are um, often looking for and you have those amenities you want to highlight them through great photos and content and then the second component of your market rank is the quality of experience so this is about how you conduct business on our platform and the experience that you offer throughout the traveler's stay so this includes things like response time declines reviews um, these are all part of the behaviors that are important to our marketplace so this component is all about providing your travelers a great experience from the time they start searching for their perfect vacation rental to after they check out of your property. And your rank is important because it's how we are determining your placement in a traveler's search results. So your ranking is the baseline, then when you add the traveler's search terms, um, filters, and availability, those things together are what determine your search position. And so the great news is you can influence these things and your ranking is really in your hands. And in future weeks, we'll be releasing new tools um, and insights that can help you improve your ranking. And so today we wanted to focus on the tools that we have um, that can help you improve your market rank. So again, we're often asked by you, um, how do I know if I'm doing the right things? And so we're going to walk you through a few tools that can help you ensure you are doing the right things um, to positively impact your market rank. And the first of these tools is the marketplace feed and the win-loss post within the marketplace feed. Um, so for, for you, the marketplace feed is a personalized location and dynamic source for all information regarding your listing. And it's where you can take immediate action to unlock new revenue opportunities. 
So unlike the old dashboard experience, the feed brings booking opportunities, competitive insights, and tips for improving your listings to the forefront in all one um, centralized place. So I'm going to have Matt pull up the um, feed so that we can walk through what it looks like and where you can find it. Thanks, Rachel. And hi, everyone. So many of you have probably seen the Marketplace feed in the past. It's been available in your left navigation. But now with this new homepage, the feed, the feed and everything on it is becoming your dashboard. So I wanted to point out some key highlights. The first thing that you'll see in your, new, in your new dashboard are these new inbox notifications. And really what these are, is are actionable booking requests or unread inquiries that you need to take action on right away so you can respond to any travelers that have requested your property. And so we put that front and center for you so you can action on it right away. The second is a new calendar widget on the right, which also shows you reservation data if you have them on your calendar. As you scroll down, you'll see a lot of other insights and posts, and you'll see different things like win-loss cards, recently booked properties in your market, some tips and tricks that we want to give you to, to succeed, some videos, Again, a one booking, popular properties in your area, and even things like top amenities that travelers are looking for at this moment. So really this feed is all about providing you posts and insights so you can become more successful in your vacation rental industry. Now I hand it back over to Rachel to talk about our win and loss cards more. Thanks, Pat. So again, um, your marketplace feed is the best place for you to understand um, your competition and how to um, improve your, your property and your listing. And so win-loss is one of the best tools to do so. And win-loss analysis is actually a commonly used business technique um, used by world-class marketing organizations to improve competitiveness. It gives you historical data to capture what you're doing well and what areas you can focus on improving. Um, our win-loss posts give you real-time visibility into properties that you are either winning or losing bookings against, which allows you to identify areas where you're doing well, as well as areas that you need to focus on optimizing. Um, so you'll be able to analyze the differences in content, photos, prices, and reviews from other properties that you may be losing or winning bookings against, um, and then be able to look at those differences from a traveler perspective. So what's really important about win-loss is the patterns that you find. Um, it's not just about focusing on one won or lost post. Um, each and every one is important and you can learn something from each of them, but really it's about recognizing and monitoring the patterns over time. So if you're consistently losing or winning bookings on one parameter, for example, if you're finding that you're consistently losing bookings against a property that has more photos than you, it's a strong indicator that this is a detail that's important to travelers when searching for a vacation rental. So if it's um, like the more photos example, you can go add more photos um, to your listing. And so, again, it's really not about looking at one, one or loss post and making huge um, business decisions based on one, but really looking at the patterns and monitoring the patterns over time so that you can see um, where you can focus on improving and where you're doing well to be sure to highlight some of um, those areas. And so, um, I'll pass it back over to Matt to walk through a little bit more um, detail on the one or lost post where you can actually compare yourself to these other properties and take action. Thanks, Rachel. So yeah, so here's an example of a lost booking post that you might receive in your feed. And so when you see it, we want to provide you with details. So in this, in this case, a traveler looked at your property but ended up booking up with a competitor instead. And so when you receive this, the first question you may ask is, why? Why did this traveler book someone else? Well, we want to make it super easy for you to understand that. And that's why we have this comparison view located on all of our competitive cards. When you click view comparison, you'll see that there's, you'll see that there's photos here shown on the first tab. What this is, is a side-by-side -side comparison of your photos to the other properties. In this case, this is an extreme case, the, uh, uh, you had one photo and the other property had a lot more photos. And so the thing that you'd probably want to 
to do in this, in this case is add more photos so that travelers can fully understand what your property looks like. Another tab in this comparison view is amenities. In this case, the other property has internet that's added to their property. Well, you might be thinking, hey, either I have internet, why is it not showing up? Well, in this case, you'd probably want to go to your property editor to verify that you have that checked. And if not, check it, because that's an important amenity for our travelers. So this is an example of us helping you and providing data so you can uh, either update your property page or make informed decisions on what you want to invest in. The third tab here are metrics. And we want to show you what metrics the other property has compared to yours. In this case, your search rank is higher. You're at 50. And the, and the other property is at 170, but they responded faster. So they respond in an average of an hour uh, to, their, to their inquiries and, and contacts, whereas you respond over a day. They also respond to 100% of their, their requests, whereas you don't respond to a lot. And so those are patterns and cues that would helpfully um, let, allow you to improve your performance and behavior so that you can win the next booking. Additionally, we have this view on other posts in your feed, like the recently booked card and the, the one booking post. With the one booking, you can actually see all of the other com uh, competitors that were involved in the tra traveler's consideration set. Click the view competitors button and then see the other properties that you can make comparison. So we talked about comparison view. And a big focus of that was behavior and improving your, your, your metrics. So I'm going to hand it over to Brendan now to talk about ranking metrics. Thanks, Matt. So as we start to look at this comparison view, we can start to see some of the key uh, behaviors that we are looking at within our marketplace. And if we wanted to learn a little bit more around how we're doing from a summary perspective or how we're doing overall, Ranking metrics is really the place where we can do that. So if we click into our ranking metrics page from your dashboard, this is the place that provides you visibility into many of the important factors that we're considering when giving you your market rank. These are things like cancellations, decline rates, bookings, uh, response time, and these are really what ladder up to create the, the, the rank for what we call our quality of experience, something that Rachel pointed out earlier. Also at the top, you will see market rank coming soon. This is what we are telling owners and you specifically to hone in on with our new ranking system, and this is the number that you can actually influence. Also, because search position is so dynamic, this market rank and these factors on this page are definitely the things that you want to look and check in on to understand how you're doing over time. Additionally, we've added your comp set to the top to give you a much deeper understanding of how you're doing against the, the properties and listings that you compete with head to head. As you click through, you can see that how the metrics change relating to your comp set. If you've ever wondered where is your comp set or how can I change that, you can do that within the your view comp set button right here. When you click through, you're then shown to a map where all the similar type properties lie. You can, if, if some of these don't make sense, you can remove them, or if you'd like to add a property, you can add a, a competitor to your comp set. So now that you've seen an aggregate view of your performance, and more specifically, you know, the posts that you're seeing within your dashboard and your marketplace feed, let's go into some tips and tricks that we have identified that will make owners successful within our new marketplace. So these are the four, uh, the big four that we've told owners to focus on. And these will are really 
provided to help you be successful within, within the new marketplace. The first is great content. And when we mean great content, we're telling you that you should focus on not only the photos on your listing, um, but also the description and the about section, making sure it's really clear and photos that you're swapping out old grainy photos for up-to-date high quality shots. Competitive rates. Make sure you're priced competitively to your market. This doesn't necessarily mean cheaper, but this you can check in um, products like Market Maker to help you understand supply and demand of your market and win-loss posts to help you understand how people are uh, pricing their properties. The third, accept and honor bookings. This is really important with our new online marketplace. Keeping mindful of cancellations and accepting bookings uh, is very important. If you're looking to enhance that, you can definitely try instant booking, but we're certainly not telling you that's required. Again, thinking back to what travelers care about, it's not a great traveler experience when you, you send booking requests and, and ultimately have to keep sending bo booking requests because nobody's accepting them. That's not a good traveler experience. And then lastly, excellent feedback. When you're providing a great end-to-end -end traveling experience and focusing on your travelers, you're setting yourself up for success to get great feedback from the in the form, format of traveler reviews. These are key because you will end up, these will influence further travelers and have a potential to get you more bookings later down the road. There'll be more information on what you can do to focus on these big four within the Discovery Hub. But lastly, we'll close up with how you can succeed with taking the insights from your marketplace feed. And like Rachel said, this is about identifying the patterns over time. It's not just looking at one individual booking, whether won or lost, but looking at them in aggregate and trying to understand what are the thematic things that are going on with your booking or with your listing and how you can index on the things that you're being uh, successful on or improve in the areas that you're not. And then also within the comparison view, Identify what the best of the best are doing. By learning what people are doing that are being successful within your market, you can take what they're doing and implement that into your own vacation rental strategy. And those are the things that we've identified that can help owners be successful. Thank you for to joining today's webinar.